Young people aged 12 to 24 are a vital feature of the Darwin community now and into the future. Here at Council, we see significant opportunities for investing in their future and backing them to create the kind of city they want to live in. They are the future leaders of our city and it is crucial for us to ensure they are heard, resourced and connected with opportunities to feel proud and excited by their future. Young Darwin is a unique, diverse and fabulous young population that makes Darwin the vibrant and creative city that it is. Did you know we have the youngest population in Australia? There are 13,014 young people aged 12 to 24 in Darwin. That's 17% of the population. 1,208 young people aged 15 to 24 in Darwin identify as Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander. And a quarter were born overseas from over 40 different birthplaces. As a responsive and connected council, the City of Darwin is aware that young people in the Northern Territory face unique issues. The following have been flagged in the Youth Strategy as key considerations for our advocacy agenda. Homelessness in the Northern Territory is 15 times higher than the rest of Australia. It's hard to believe, but 10% of all Territorians at the age of 18 are experiencing homelessness. There is an absence of flexible learning programs for young parents to finish year 10 and year 12 in Darwin. Sadly, youth suicide rates in the Northern Territory are over three times the national average. And teenage birth rates are four times higher than any other state in Australia. We need to work collaboratively to address critical social issues that impact Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander youth health. We know Council cannot take full responsibility for these areas of concern, but we are the sphere of government closest to our community, making us well placed to advocate on issues that impact our young people. Setting a roadmap for the next five years is essential to help us address the needs, expectations and aspirations of local young people. That's where the youth strategy comes in. This youth strategy will ensure Council creates a city where young people are encouraged to thrive, express themselves and reach their potential. To achieve this, the strategy will ensure that we are complementing existing services rather than duplicating. It will keep us on track for delivering what we promised. It will improve the community's understanding of those issues impacting young people. And the youth strategy will set out how the council and the community can help our young people together. At present, City of Darwin has over 20 programs for young people. Since the last youth strategy, we have kicked some serious goals. We created an extremely successful and tailored annual events and youth training program called Launch. We have an awesome youth activity kit, gig gear, stage trailer and event resources that can be accessed by community groups. We have a youth team equipped with three full-time staff and we've successfully completed eight 12-month youth traineeships. We've completed the development of the Malak basketball court and upgraded the Jingali skate park facility. Council continues to work closely with the Youth Advisory Group to ensure young people's views are represented in all youth and council initiatives. Our newest program, Midnight Basketball, supported more than 100 high-risk young people each tournament with life skills workshops and access to sports and mentoring in a safe environment. The award-winning Grind Online delivered over 25 publications and became a nationally recognised award-winning project that was key to getting young people into successful careers in the media. The new Launch Zine, a for youth by youth publication, has replaced Grind Online and it's a great success. We've also increased our use of IT capabilities for communicating with young people at the City of Darwin and established a youth arts bank online to promote young emerging artists, musicians and event staff to the community. To find out what else we should be doing and to build the youth strategy roadmap for council, we talked to over a thousand local young people. We went to shopping centres, the Darwin Show, high schools and middle schools. We also conducted 198 face-to-face -face surveys, 308 written surveys, 60 Vox Pop style video interviews and open group community discussions with parents, carers and service providers. 
We also talk to young people in the Dondale Detention Centre, young parents and carer groups, non-government service providers, youth roundtables, committees and community groups. Our youth strategy is also guided by an integrated planning framework and is closely linked to key local, state and federal policies and it will be reviewed annually. From the discussions we had with young people, we learnt a lot about what it's like to be 12 to 24 in Darwin. Young people love living in Darwin for its tropical coastal lifestyle, sunsets, being with friends, skate parks, camping, fishing and outdoor activities, the markets, unique job opportunities and the local arts and culture scene. Overall feedback told us that young people were looking for more opportunities to access free nighttime and after hours programs and activities to meet their sporting, artistic, creative, cultural and social needs. A common thread to these issues was the absence of nighttime and weekend programs that are free, accessible and youth friendly. Young people also said they were looking for more authentic professional development opportunities to stay in Darwin and work rather than having to leave to pursue opportunities elsewhere. They told us that young people are concerned with mental health and issues such as drug and alcohol misuse, body image dissatisfaction, stress of study, self-harm and suicide. They are interested in employment and education opportunities, but older groups surveyed said they found it difficult to secure full-time work. Young people also said they were looking for information on how to set up their own small business and were seeking access to more digital skills development. We also learnt that automation and digital technology is radically impacting the future of work for our young people. Research shows over 70% of future jobs will require digital literacy skills that many young people are not equipped with. Young people in Darwin told us that the online world and social media platforms are definitely important with how they interact with each other, with their communities and how they access support. But cyberbullying and online shaming were identified as a challenge. For many young people, getting a licence in their own vehicle is a priority. Our consultations also highlighted a need for more road safety and driver education initiatives. We have developed key priorities for action in the youth strategy. They are keeping active and healthy, feeling confident and capable, supporting creativity and the arts, and staying safe and connected. To do this, we will deliver an annual program of youth-focused activities and events. We will develop, identify and maintain high-quality youth-friendly facilities. We will encourage and support programs that celebrate diversity, identity and self-expression and celebrate local and global cultures in our programming. We will support delivery of youth-defined and youth-designed events. We will facilitate and encourage initiatives that address barriers to participation in sport and will work collaboratively to improve health literacy of young people and their families. We will work with local partners to create opportunities that support young people to be prepared for and excited by their future. We will deliver an annual program of youth-friendly events including the Launch Emerging Producer Program. We'll create access to physical spaces for young people to grow ideas, rehearse and showcase their work. And we'll support and encourage leadership and recognition opportunities for local artists and organisations. We will utilise the Youth Advisory Group to ensure young people are engaged in planning and design of community facilities and public spaces. We will develop and facilitate community collaboration and partnerships. We will collaborate on programs that contribute to a safer community and advocate for safer and more reliable late night transport. And we'll lead and support programs that encourage connected neighbourhoods. This youth strategy is a roadmap designed by local young people to guide us for the next five years. We need everyone to be involved in creating a proud and connected young Darwin. We need everyone to accept the challenges that young people face and come up with sustainable solutions and relevant programs to ensure young Darwin is one that is healthy, resilient, empowered and celebrated. This youth strategy is a map for a vibrant, youth-friendly city. Will you take the steering wheel? <laughs>